Three people were killed and three were missing after a landslide barreled down a heavily forested, rain-soaked mountainside and smashed into homes in a remote fishing community in southeast Alaska. The slide, estimated to be 450 feet wide, occurred it on Monday night during a significant rain and windstorm near Wrangell, an island community of 2,000 people some 155 miles south of the state capital of Juneau. Rescue crews found the body of a girl in an initial search and late Tuesday the bodies of two adults were found by a drone operator, searchers used a cadaver-sniffing dog and heat-sensing drones to search for two children and one adult unaccounted for after the disaster, while the Coast Guard and other vessels looked along a waterfront littered with rocks, trees, and mud. Alaska State Troopers spokesperson Austin McDaniel said a woman who had been on the upper floor of a home was rescued. She was in good condition and receiving medical care. One of the three homes that was struck was unoccupied, McDaniel said. There were three structures directly in the path of this landslide. Two houses on the mountain side of the highway and one house on the water side of the highway. A geologist from the Alaska Department of Transportation has conducted a preliminary assessment of the slide zone and has cleared areas of that slide zone for ground searching to resume today. U.S. Coast Guard, as well as volunteer search and rescue team vessels and Good Samaritan vessels are actively searching the water side of the slide area. Sometime between last night when the hasty search was paused to uh, when ground searchers returned today was when uh, the adult female was located alive. The perspective of the Alaska State Troopers, I can say this is very much still a search and rescue operation. I don't have a lot of detail, but we are estimating it was, it's about um, just a little under 500 feet across at the, where it crossed the road. We do know that the risk of landslides, specifically this type of landslide known as a debris flow, the risk of a debris flow is present throughout Southeast Alaska where we have steep slopes. And we know that heavy rainfall or rapid snow melt or otherwise putting lots of moisture into the soil makes those risks greater.